which of the following is equivalent to 5 over k plus k plus 3 divided by k plus 5. Well, the trick to a question like this is to realize that if we're going to add together two fractions, they will need to have the same denominator. And the way to get these to have the same denominator is to make sure that this one has a k plus 5 multiplier and this other one has a k multiplier. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take this half of the equation and we'll multiply it by a fraction which is actually the same thing as 1. That is k plus 5 divided by k plus 5. You'll remember anything divided by itself is 1. And you can multiply something by 1 without changing it. So this really isn't changing anything. And on the other side, we're going to multiply each side of the equation, uh, the numerator and the denominator, uh, by k. This is drawn from this side. And again, we need to remember that k over k, just like any number over itself, is equal to 1, and 1 times a number isn't changing it. So we're really not changing anything. We're just changing the way these equations look. So let's actually do the math here. We have k plus 5, that whole quantity, which is going to be times 5 over here, divided by, in this case, k times k plus 5, times k plus 5 over here. All right, no problem so far. And pretty much the exact same simple thing over here on the other equation. We have k plus 3 and that whole quantity times k because we multiplied by those. And then that whole thing is divided by divided by k plus 5 times k. k plus 5 times k. And now an awesome thing has happened. Without changing this equation at all, because we just multiplied each side by 1, we've given it the same denominator, which means we can add these two quantities together no problem, because this denominator right here is the same as this denominator right here. So let's go ahead and do that addition. If, if we do that addition, we have k plus 5 times k. That's the denominator for both sides. And then on the top, we merely have to add these together. And let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and run out some of the multiplication. So 5, uh, this was 5 times k. So 5 times k up here. And then we can say plus uh, 5, 5 times 5, so plus 25, and then that whole number plus whatever the fraction is over here. So we have k times k, that's going to be k squared, and then we've done these two, and then k times 3 uh, plus 3k. And if we go ahead and, uh, well, now we can add together 5k plus 3k here. So let's, let's just write out the final equation. If we were to add those two together, we'd have 8k plus uh, 25 is already as simple as possible, plus k squared is, always, is already as simple as possible, divided by k plus 5 times k, the same that we started with, but now as a single fraction. And if we look at the answers, uh, that's just actually a slight rearrangement of exactly the correct answer, E.